A new year calls for new clothes. In this episode of Adara Unboxed, we're gonna be checking out my first Stitch Fix of 2022. Hello friends, welcome to Adara Unboxed. If you're new here, I'm Adara, welcome. Today we're gonna be trying on some clothes. This is one of my favorite things to do because you guys leave me good comments down below letting me know if the clothes are good or not because sometimes I can't tell. I think I have a really bland wardrobe, but that's not completely true. I either have really bland pieces or really weird pieces and nothing go together. So I end up just not even wearing a lot of what I have. This is part of the reason I've really liked getting Stitch Fix in the past because they send you things and sometimes the things kind of go together and you can see like a full outfit from what they've given you. In this video, I'm going to open up this fix and try everything on so we can see what it is, what it looks like, how it fits, if it's worth it. And I'll let you know the prices too because sometimes the things that Stitch Fix sends are out of my price range. But they do have a nifty little spot on the app where you can say like about how much you'd wanna pay for things. I set everything to be like the lowest possible price, please. A little info, just in case you've never tried Stitch Fix for yourself, Stitch Fix is a company that sends you curated clothing products at whatever time period you deem fit. Shipping is free, you keep what you want, and you send back what you don't also for free. You're only charged for the pieces that you keep, and if you decide to keep everything, they give you 25% off of your total. If you find yourself wanting to try Stitch Fix for the first time, I have left my referral code down below in the description for you. It gives you $25 in credit for your first box. I would like to thank Emily B and Carrie C for using my referral codes, which gave me some credit that I will be able to use towards some items in this box, hopefully. I always appreciate y'all's referral support because I'm a very small time YouTuber, at least for now. I purchase almost everything that I unbox on this channel out of pocket and I receive very little money from YouTube. <laughs> so anytime you guys use my referral link and I get credits towards the things that I will purchase and show on this channel, I'm always very grateful because it gives me a little bit of a discount. A while back, Stitch Fix showcased a new feature. It is the preview feature. I haven't had the best luck with previews. Every time I've had a preview, I really haven't liked much of what's been on there. And this box was no exception. I really only liked one sweater or shirt. I don't actually know what it's gonna be. We'll see when I open my box. When you do this, they give you an option to leave a note for your stylist, which is super helpful. You can tell them why you didn't like the other pieces, what you would prefer to see instead. The only downside is that you don't get a second preview. They will take your note into account, but they won't let you know what else they've chosen for you. So that will just get shipped to you and it's going to be a surprise mystery box. Without further ado, let's open this up and see what I got in my January 2022 Stitch Fix. Oh, I'm liking this color on top. This is definitely my color. I wonder what it is. And here are all the little things they send you. There is a prepaid postage envelope for whatever you decide to return. And this envelope contains the receipt, so it will tell me how much everything costs and what my total discount would be if I were to keep everything. And then there is a little booklet in here that they send that shows the pieces that you got and how you could style them. Let's see what's in here. One, two, three, Four, five, five things. Let's try them on. I already see some red pants that I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> like. Who knows, maybe they'll look good on. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm fairly certain that this is the shirt that I picked from my preview, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on first. This is from the company Letty and Me which I've absolutely never heard of. I think that this is okay. It is nice-ish, but I do like the different textures. So this part of the shirt has like this interesting weave and then the arms are different. I do like the little shoulder pad details, although I think that this style was cool like two years ago and I don't know that it's really in anymore. 
but I saw it on the preview and I thought, you know, I've never done that, so maybe I will. It's like this nice suede material, so this part is very soft. And I don't know, it's, it's an okay length too. I like how it's a little bit shorter on the sides, longer in the front and back, and obviously I could do a little tucky tuck. I think it's okay. Let's check the price though. This is the Letty and Me Josie Elbow Patch Pullover. Oof. And it's $46. I do not remember it being that much on my preview when I picked it. Uh, I guess I just wasn't paying close attention. Let's see what else we got. Okay, this one is from the company Faith and Zoe, and I actually think this is super cute. Before I say anything else, I did find someone else's hair on this. I know it's not mine because it was on there before I even tried it on, and it's very blonde. So that's gross. Hairs aside, I really like the cut on this, like this like cool neck that's, I don't know what this is. I don't think it's technically boat neck, but just like, you know, I don't know. I, I like this. Um, I like the length. I would wear this with high-waisted jeans probably because it's a little bit shorter. And then it's got the, what are these, butterfly arms? I don't think that's the technical term, but it's what I'll call them. And I just think that this button detail on one arm is just so cute. A little unique, a little different. So this one, I want to say, is an absolute keeper, but I won't know that until I check the price. Faith and Zoe Tibby Dolman Sleeve Ribbed Pullover. Oh my god. $64? How are they sending me this expensive stuff when I have it set on my account to send me the cheap stuff? $64 for like a little shirt sweater? Oh. This is what drives me a little nuts. Like I know that these prices they're not, this is not accurate. This is not a 60. I don't know. Maybe it actually is. It does seem nice quality and it's really like different looking. Is that just the price to pay for something that looks a little bit more unique and flattering? Whatever. Good thing I have some credits to use and I have a feeling they're going to go at least towards this if I don't keep everything because this is cute. I really like it. I think I saw some weird pants in there, so I'm going to try those on. <laughs> I don't like these. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm definitely not like a colorful pants type person. I'm sure that with the right top, these would be cute. But again, these just remind me of a style that was popular like five years ago. I don't really see people wearing colored jeans anymore. And the quality on these does not feel good. I think that the fit at the moment is not horrible, but I can tell like it's already a little bit loose in the waist. And this feels like the kind of material that is going to stretch out throughout the day as I wear them. Obviously, this color combo is awful. I look like Ronald McDonald. These are from a company called Just USA. Again, I've never heard of them. The saddest part is I am sure these are expensive, like way more than I would ever want to pay for a pair of pants like this. Just USA Hannah High Rise Clean Hem Skin Tight Pants. $58. I think I'm so used to getting things on clearance that that seems like a really high price for me. But I do think pants generally are above $50, so that's probably right. I think there's another top in there. I'm going to throw that on with these pants and see if it's a better color combo. I don't know. I, this shirt feels really soft. It's made by Nine Britain, which I have gotten clothing from before in previous Stitch Fix boxes. I like the neck. I like the sleeve length. I don't think I like this little dangly dangly. I think it doesn't have any shape in the waist because of this. Like there's no real like strong hem at the bottom. This is just another thing where like, I don't really know that this is in style anymore. What do you guys think about this? I don't know. I don't know if I like it. 
How much does it cost? Nine Britain Billy Tie Front Brushed Knit T-shirt. $40. This shirt is not worth $40. There is one more item in my box. I think it's a jacket. Let me go throw that on. Not a jacket. It is a vest, apparently. It is like Sherpa fur lined all over on the inside. So nice and soft and cozy and warm. And I actually really like this quilt. It's kind of cute, isn't it? I don't wear vests a ton. I think I only own two other vests. But we are getting to the point where it is going to slowly start getting warmer and so I can transition pretty soon from wearing a coat to wearing a vest to go out. And this one is just like, um, nice. It's cute, isn't it? It's cozy and I feel like it's fitted really nicely. And I like the, it has like a little tapering on the butt. This is made by the company 41 Hawthorne. I just realized it's probably pretty expensive. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so the 41 Hawthorne Dulce Sherpa lined puffer vest, $78. <gasps> I bet there's people out there that get Stitch Fix and they get all the high end stuff and I bet it's like $200 a piece or more. And I probably shouldn't be complaining, but I am such a thrift shopper, I shop sale and I shop clearance and I shop discount stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So to see something like this for $78, if I saw that in a store for $78, I would say absolutely not. It, not worth it. But trying it on, it just feels so luxurious. <laughs> So those are all my five pieces, but I am going to go over the total for everything and how much it would cost if I were to keep everything and take advantage of the discount. The subtotal for everything is $286. If I were to take advantage of the buy all discount of 25%, it would take $71.50 off of that, making it $214.50. And if I keep even just one thing, I get $20 off for my stylist fee reimbursement. So if I were to keep everything, it would be $194.50. I don't think it's worth keeping everything. Not for this box. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I do think I'm going to take advantage of the referral credits that I have at the moment to keep this cute little sweater, even though it's so expensive. I'm gonna have to think about the white sweater that was in my preview. I'm not sure that I would pay $46 for this. I'm also super tempted to keep this vest. I don't think I'm gonna keep this top that I'm currently wearing. I just don't really like it. And I just don't like these pants. There we have it, friends, my first Stitch Fix box of the new year. I don't think it's going to dissuade me from getting Stitch Fix in the future, even though there are some things I don't really like, because sometimes they do send things that I would probably never find on my own, like that cute mustard sweater, or things that I would never think to try on that actually end up looking quite cute. Don't forget that if you wanna try Stitch Fix for yourself, there's a referral code down there. It will get you $25 in credit, so take advantage of that. And thanks so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for another Dara Unboxed Adventure. Bye.